Welcome to our configure layer 7 firewall. We go to meraki.cisco.com where we can actually access a trial demo version. You click on get a demo. You can put in an email address and a password and that kind of stuff and they'll email you a, a authentication link. And you can request actually trialing the gear but for most of us obviously that's not going to be feasible. So you can start the demo, you just need to put in uh, whatever details here in the uh, registration page. Now this is just going to be a bit of a tour really and then we'll just uh, probably add a line of configuration because it's such a complicated um, process and you could uh, go in a training course to actually learn how to install and manage and configure all of this. So I'll just put in uh, my details here, make up a phone number. Now I found the um, registration links actually took a while to come through so you might have to register then wait to go do another lab and then eventually the um, it'll come through the email that you click on. I think you can access it instantly once you've logged in but you get limited access to some of the features. Alright so this is the page you're taken to. A dashboard is the best place to uh, go but I recommend you click on uh, all the links to see what's available. I go to configure and then firewall for the appliance. Alright the firewall opens, you can see we've got layer 3 rules here. Outbound rules, failover rules, just click on, uh, just press on the uh, information radio button it will tell you exactly what each line does. But uh, layer 7 uh, Further down you can say there's no, you see there's no layer 7 rules defined. This device does a, a whole ton of stuff. You can see there's NAT and IP source spoofing protection. But this is where we want to be. The um, port forwarding, uh, sorry, the uh, layer 7 rules. I'm just showing you all the stuff that's available down the bottom here. Click add the layer 7 uh, rule. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here for layer 7, uh, websites and services, file sharing, gaming, productivity, and uh, the mind actually boggles. But we'll find uh, something that's going to work for us. We'll go to online backups and what we'll do is stop any backups to uh, Backblaze which is a, an online service I use because this actually runs 24-7 and it constantly backs up to um, the cloud server so it's going to clog up a lot of your bandwidth. And the other thing we'll deny is uh, let's have a look video and music and we'll deny them surfing let's see uh, YouTube because we want to spoil all their fun. You can actually use the uh, crosshairs to drag to different priorities if you want because it, it will go from top to bottom. We'll deny a certain host name and I'll just say 101labs.net so that's a website that's actually uh, blocked. When you're happy with that you can save changes Now you'll go back over to clients through your dashboard and uh, find uh, there'll be a list of clients if you can you can click on any of these you might as well just click on the top one you might have a different uh, list of devices uh, when you're doing your trial but you can see this person's got a MacBook Air there's a whole bunch of statistics IP addresses and um, you can see further down here there's device policies you can block someone if you think their device has been stolen 
and you can show details of their firewall rules. Layer 7 firewall rule shows you that the device is blocking the three things that we configured for Layer 7. So it's just a little play, you can have some more time yourself, but this is the end of the lab. Thanks for watching.